Hello everyone, I'm Radrani and welcome to Speak Easy. My guest today is extremely special, also a woman that you all look up to. Her journey has been inspiring a lot of young actors, always say we want to be like Kareena Kapoor Khan. And she tells you, but be yourself, that's exactly who she is I'm talking about, of course. Hello, Kareena Kapoor Khan. Hi. I meant every word of the introduction, as no. you know. It's been a while that we've known each other. Yeah, and yeah. one thing I'll always, always, always uh, like about you is the fact that you've been honest. Yeah. But today I'm asking you, and you know, you are someone who's having these deep conversations with people. Have, have, do you hold yourself back now? Or are you still trying to balance that out and still be the person who is, you know, that, that innocence that you had in the beginning when you wanted to, even with roles or with the conversations? Yeah. No, I think people also grow, mm. you know, with, with time, with, yeah. uh, with experiences in right. this industry. So I think that's what's happened is that, of course, I've just grown from uh, being, you know, an 18-year-old girl to now, you know, I'm 42 years old and yeah. I'm a very, I wear that very proudly uh, on my sleeve and I'm like, I'm, that's fine. But the industry has helped me grow into the person that I am also. I've learned things through everything. Um, when you're younger, you're like, oh my God, okay, fine, brash, this, that. Yeah. But hopefully then, you know, the growth has to happen. Yeah. People, you know, people just grow up and then, you know, learn through their um, experiences. And you've kept it real. That's important. Yeah. yeah. Um, today when you see, you, know, you, you mentioned that, you know, you started when you were 18, uh, 17, 18, and, and 22 years have been completed of Karina Kapoor. Mm -hmm. And there's a celebration every day of the person that you, and the journey you've sort of created for yourself and for the women who came in after you. Yeah. I think that is so important. Uh, when you look back, Karina, how do you look at the one who started? How do you look at the person who started and also... Also, the kind of biases you fought against to reach here. No, I think that the person, of course, I mean, I started work when I was 17. And, you know, at that time, you have a different sort of energy, different sort of passion. Your, you know, mind is on a different wavelength, you know. Uh, today, of course, I'm, you know, I'm happy. I'm the queen of my own castle, which I'm very happy with. What I mean by that is that I take my own decisions. I am very happy with what I want to do. I choose not to uh, do more because I have to balance. My, I've always prioritized my family, my children, my husband. Um, and that's out of choice. Doesn't mean that everyone has to do it. But that's my choice that I wanted to do. Of course, I'm ambitious, but I'm not, uh, I'm not over ambitious. That's always been me. I'm very happy and comfortable in what I do. And, uh, and that's the way I want, and that's the way I want it to be in my life, you know, and as I'm putting all, you know, the pieces of the puzzle together, I just, I just want to balance out time with my boys and at the same time is, you know, do what I love doing, which is, you know, being on set, working. Karina, today when you had a conversation with Ranbir, right, after, after the fatherhood that he is and, you know, you're a parent, there's a different kind of vibe, right? I, I could see that when you were chatting in the show as well. Uh, tell me about how that experience, do you see him? Because I'm sure for him also your, you know, advices or your conversations matter because he's, he's seen you also being this person who's really balanced both, uh, you know, both motherhood yeah. and this so nicely. Yeah, but I just feel that every parent's experience is of their own experience. Sure. And these do's and these don'ts and the tips and this and that, I mean, it's just like, you know, it's of course it's it's easier said than done. So I just feel like I didn't take any advice and I don't give any advice to anybody. Okay. That's just the way I am. You know, I mean, like I I'm not an expert at all. Even after Jay, I'm not an expert. I'm I'm also just you know each day every parent, every mother, every um, mother is trying to do their best for themselves and for their child. So I I don't think. I would I'm that kind of person to be Are aise karna chahiye, aise karna chahiye. I've never been that type no but I mean like but you could see like there's a, yeah. a certain kind of maturity no, I think in the there's a maturity that, that's there because there's a lot of mutual love between us and because I'm happy that he's so happy today I think that is what is you know being is visible to our fans you know you also you also spoke about like how Tushin was the time you really thought is going to do well right yeah and the entire size zero phase. I feel like, you know, your relationship and like all women with, with our bodies and the way is, 
has also changed, right? Like today I feel like all of us are trying to be kinder to ourselves. Yeah, of course. How has that changed for you, A? Because I know uh, there are unreasonable, uh, you know, standards set for women and particularly in this field when mm. you're an actor, mm. you're being scrutinized every day. How have you evolved in that journey? Like I said, you know, you have to just do what works for you, what works for, what makes you happy. If you're going to start living for other people's mm. standards, then there won't be any time to live for yourself, you know. And for me, living for myself is the most important. What is one thing that you want to bring to a, a new season when you're talking to your guests? What is, and has it helped that today you're a different person, you have so much life experiences, you know? I'm sure that also comes in, right, when these yeah, conversations... Yeah, of course. I think that's why the guests that we've chosen this season have also been people that I have deeply admired, people that I have also been excited to talk to. We've had a lot of young digital content creators, a lot of influencers who've, who make a difference, who believe in their work, who believe in themselves. Uh, we've had an exciting mix of actors, Shifali Shah, Rani Mukherjee, people that I have always felt, uh, you know, have somewhere impacted me, their performances, the way they live their life. So I think it's it's grown with me each season. You know, this season I was very, very particular that, okay, let's get people who, um, you know, voice is going to be heard by everybody on parenthood, on motherhood, mm -hmm. on parenting, on fatherhood, you know. Like, people want to hear the human side of um, you know, these celebrities. And, I mean, they've come and they've spoken so well that, that you know it's like it's just amazing the way they've all spoken has someone surprised you because you know some of them and i'm talking about the ones you know you know whether it's kapil or whether it's ranbir yeah has someone surprised you with their answer that you're looking this is a new facet that you didn't know no there were a lot of people that i didn't know i i, I didn't know shifa ali shah before yeah. i did not know um, i mean we've all been on couple show but we've not spoken about parenting we've not spoken about yeah. uh you know what he feels you know on you know, female comedians. I asked him about that. So there are a lot of topics that we've touched which you don't get to hear from these people. You know, so for me also, it's like people like that, I was like, wow, you know, you get to kind of actually know what they're thinking. Were you delighted to see the kind of reactions you still, I mean, I'm sure you're not surprised, but I'm sure you must be delighted to see the kind of reactions, the re-release of Jab We Met God. Yeah, of course, but it's it such is, a beautiful, of course. lovely, warm film. I think that it's, it's a film that kind of, it just leaves you, it's like that, you know, that warm, that garam kind of, you know, khana that you want to eat. Comfort food. Comfort food, that's what Jab We Met is. It kind of just gives you that feeling of like, that you know you belong, your you know everything's going to be fine. It's just you know it's like, I just I I think so. I just it just has that feeling. And because it's so iconic, have you ever thought that if they do a sequel and how it'll be, the post life? Would you ever want to do that? A and and would you be okay for remakes made? You know sometimes they say like, no, Jabi Mat can't be remade, and it won't. It's too. It, there's no. I there's no. I don't think so. No, it can't. I don't think so. Yeah. But do you ever think about a sequel? Have you ever thought? I'm sure a lot of people try to. You know? Uh, no, I don't know. I don't know a sequel. I don't know because you want to remember Geet for just mm. the way she was. You don't want to see what actually happens to her yeah. when she kind of, you know, in life. Somehow you just want to love her for that, for those crazy decisions, for the fact that she just lived, you know, uh, yeah. life according to her terms. She believed so much in love. So you want to leave certain characters, you know, in the memory like that. So basically, and also no one else can do Geeta. I don't think so. If they want to do also. I, I don't think it's possible to <laughs> Some see. Some characters should remain untouched. <laughs> here, here. Pretty much the verdict given here, isn't it, I Karina? think so, na? <laughs> yeah, it is. Do you it better? Have you... Because I think your choices are very based on what you want to do and not yeah. on how, no. what imaging you want no. and all of that. Now you know? it's not about that. No, I, 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 I've been here too long to not understand that, you know, certain films yeah. will do well and certain films will not. And I've seen too many of those, both sides of the coin, equally. But of course, you still do kind of, you know, feel bad that, you know, a film didn't get its mm. due. But then you kind of learn and understand that, okay, why and what and, you know, maybe not. And then, but I've never been that kind of person who overanalyzes or overthinks. I'm not that kind of person. Then I'm like, yeah, okay, it's okay, it's fine. Now, here's the most interesting part. I'll have to mention Kuru. 
Okay. Because I feel she's like okay. Because I think crew <coughs> watching the three of you come together, yeah, Tabu, yeah. you and and Kriti, I think is going to be amazing. You know, you also did V Ray, and then you have a film like Jile Zara mm. with Katrina, Alia, and and Priyanka coming up. I think it's amazing to see this, and I've yeah. spoken to a lot of actors also about it. There was a time when investments on women were made to only pit them against each yeah, other. Yeah, of course. To see that they finally and and also these collaborations happen with mainly male superstars, right? Yeah. Like getting them in a film together because they are thought to be worthy and invested upon. I see that happening here, which is I think fantastic. A a little on crew and A on what I've just and B on what I've just said, right? Like I want to know your thoughts on this. I think now. its lines are blurring there's no like male female superstar uh, now it's about the part the character the script the director what we kind of you know what the story is uh not the way you're looking but how it's going to be executed mm-hmm. uh today there's you can't call someone a hero heroine or whatever mm-hmm. i think you're known as an actor everybody today wants to be known as that um i think yeah stardom has kind of been taken over by performances good scripts uh good content and i think that's the time so whether you're male or female and you're you know acting in a movie today it, it i think and i hope that that is the way people will continue and look at it and that's why when riya came to me with veere at the same time when temur was born and now when after jay's born she came with crew i was super excited that you know it was going to be like this all female led back and i was like you know it's not we're all actors and we're all going to do our part and and you know i mean we can't wait to start shooting and i know that people i'm 100% sure the people will go will watch the film will love it will enjoy it and you know there will be this talk of like you know female superstars but you know i think female superstars or females have more courage to work together you know three Great actors in one frame, three male superstars. I'm not quite sure. Have they really done that? And I said this because I spoke no to guts, Kriti. no glory. So it's no fine. No guts, no glory. I guts think it's and, fine. And it's important. Yeah, and it, I think people are ready. They want this. Yeah. They're waiting for it. Like you guys are asking when you know crew is starting. When is it coming out? So I know people are. So that gives us hope that you know. I mean, they want to watch. you know these kind of movies you know we're doing a show that we ask about what women want when we talk about what female actors want most of them have told me that they want you know budgets to be like that yeah you know budgets to be scaled and that to have that kind of scale that male actors do which is still a fight right now mm. right um and it's slowly progressing in that direction yeah hopefully that is what we see next what do you think about it yeah i am sure with the kind of brave roles that all so many uh, today of our female actors are taking and moving in that direction um i think budget it doesn't matter i think what matters is the content and the script you know um i mean you know whether it's jalsa sherni i think they all are fantastic scripts you don't need yeah. to have 200 crores to make a fantastic film but i mean they people have watched those films they've loved it mm. so you know it gives us hope that yeah i mean there is an audience out there that wants to consume this have you how do you look at the the changing relationship with the paparazzi and are you drawing lines there i am not drawing any lines which I've is been, good i mean in fact i've been very space. like i'm the only one i'm like whatever i mean like i i, I mean i don't even know i'm like okay fine it's clicking clicking it's fine it's fine even I mean, i'm no. like what do i do you know the more i'm going to try and you know do all of that i mean i'm like i think both self and me have been very honest but of course sometimes you know one does feel that you know you know coming into the building or doing certain things or clicking the kids when they're doing like self said extra curricular yeah. activities things like that that i think is the only thing we've requested them not to do but apart from that okay. self's always like you're just always posing i'm like <laughs> yeah i am also very, <laughs> get with the plan self <laughs> you're also very good at it <laughs> yeah so he will be like yeah okay and self's like walking and trying to be like calm and he's like why are you posing i'm like yeah chill that's me i'm happy he's like you love it i said yeah i love it <laughs> Some fun questions for you, Karina. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. If there's a co-host for what women want with you, who would, who should that person be and why? If there was a co-host, yeah. Who should that person be and why? Who should that person be? 
I don't think anyone else can co-host what women want. Ah. Because I think only I have mastered the art of what they want I before like running into four seasons of the show. Yeah, you have years of experience. I do and I'm not sharing <laughs> it with anyone. <laughs> I like that. Well done, Karina. One quality that you feel like the host of a show like this should definitely have, which you obviously have. No, I think that one quality is being a good listener. Hmm. You know, because of course as actors, we also like to share our point of view or we also like, but we sometimes have to know that we're also, when you're hosting a show, you're also, you know, yeah. you've invited someone, you have uh, you have to be a good listener. So I think that, I mean, that I've learned a lot from this show. So, if there is one actor that you still feel that you need to be paired with on screen, who would that person be and why? I said Ranbir Kapoor, I think Ranbir he's, Kapoor. yeah. He's the finest actor. Okay, fair in enough. This generation, and I would love to work with a him. female co-actor that you hope get like a another film with, and why? A female co-actor. Uh, I think any or most of them. I'd like to work with Vidya Balan someday for sure. What are a few things that you feel still needs to change about the way uh, we look at women in the industry? <clears throat> I think. Now, most of the producers, most of people who are writing scripts are looking at hmm. us actors as actors. It's not like now, you know, okay, we'll take her as a heroine or we'll take so-and-so as, you know, chote role mein ye le lenge. I think all that, I think that's hmm. kind of gone, which is quite amazing and, and I hope it stays that way. Well, you've been using a lot of poo dialogues in, during the episodes, which is one that you... In the in the tr in the things that we see in the snippets that we see, which is the one poo dialogue that you actually have used in real life a lot and laughed about. Yeah, I don't know these poo dialogues suddenly in this generation have become <laughs> even more relevant than what they were even in 2000. Nah, pretty hot and tempting. I think yeah. we all use that yeah, all yeah. the time. Nah, yeah. what have you used? I, I also use pretty hot and tempting. Yeah, I think it's oh, the I best. Love that. Uh, what? Nah, I love that. Though. Yeah, it, it, <laughs> I think that's what I'm saying. In this generation, people are using it more. Hundred <laughs> percent. Okay, what is one film of yours that you would first show to Jay and of course to both your kids, of your, one of Seth and one of yours that you would 100% show when they are at that age? Seth, Seth is like, I, I don't know which film of Seth's. I mean, I think they should see Dil Chata Hai because it's about, you know, friendship and yeah. love and, you know, companionship and being together. And I think, yeah, my film also, I think it would be Jab Bhi Met, which I would want them to get that warm feeling by. I'm sure they are going to be like easy critics, no? Like I don't think, you think they're very, yeah, with their commentary? Like, yeah, I think they are, they, they, they're, quite, they're quite chilled, Chill. both the boys. I think it's going to be a great season, Thank Karina, um, all the very best and I'm looking forward to a lot more seasons uh, of this on Mirchi Plus. Thank you. Thank you once again and please keep doing who you are, <laughs> we love you and I love you. Sending you lots Thank of you. love. Thank you. Thank you. In association with Renault Kaiger, sporty, smart, stunning.